And welcome back to the Gator Snapper playthrough of Pokemon Coliseum, where I probably, I didn't have to start this episode right here, but I just saw his name was Ackman, and I like that. And also that, yeah, I guess he had some line of dialogue to say. Let's see what it was. This wasn't good enough. This is a dilemma. I'm very well learned for my uh, supposed stereotypical jock's personality. In fact, would you like to maybe read some Hemingway with me? Come along, small children. Uh, no glory for the fallen. I'm crushed. To be a rosebud in this harsh, wintry environment surely is to be real, true life. I'm just like, oh wow, that's pretty deep. I don't know what it means, but it sounds fancy. Okay, bye, buddy. Yeah, that'd be the type. He'd just be the one that reads some. Li he'd make up some poetry on the spot, and you'd be like, what does it mean? And he'd be like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just kind of came up with it on the spot. It doesn't have meaning, like a lot of things, like a lot of poetry does. Oh, fucking yeah, that's something to argue about. Oh no. There's a lot, of course, there's meaning in fucking the, the poetry that people make. But there's also, like, I don't know, I have personal grievances with a lot of uh, interpretation of poetry because a lot of the times in my, like, high school classes and even in my fucking uh, college classes, we, we always have those fuckers that when we're dissecting a poem, they say some really fucking stupid shit thinking they're being deep and understanding something the poem didn't originally fucking have. Whatever, that's that's a story for another time. Meanwhile, we got fucking romper suit, or jumpsuit rather, but still I hate it. Come and get some, we're gunning our engines. You like my romper jumpsuit? No. No, as a matter of fact, I do not. It is the epitome of bad fashion, even though I don't fucking know fashion whatsoever. And fucking look at me, I'm dressed in t-shirts, fucking like sweatpants, there's nothing, nothing like fashionable about this whatsoever. Unless you're trying to just not be fashionable, which I guess that, that applies to me as well. Okay then, glad we could come to this fucking agreement. Break, move on to other better things in life. Thundershock. I just wish it was Thunderstruck instead, so I could just have, like, that copyright bit of music in my song. Oh, God. What's happening? Oh, God. Umbreon's been put into a fucking time warp. Just looped on being pecked over and over again. Growl. How does a how does a bird fucking growl? I guess it just go, like, Kroo! Kroo! That's cute. I mean, I wouldn't be threatened by that. I guess my uh, defense or attack would fall regardless, just because it's so, like, unassuming I'd put my guard down, so I don't know. Holy fuck, bite and do shit on that lady, buh. Alright. Uh, I guess let's try secret power. It always works great, I'm sure. Secret power. And let me guess, Flaffy's about to get upset for some reason or another and not get the kill on Swablu. I'm just, I'm calling it now. Flip a coin and see what happens. Hey, Flaffy, I was wrong about you. You're actually, you're pretty calm right now. Good job. I'm gonna, I'd pat you on the fucking poofy head, but I, I'd be afraid you'd, like, try and bite me or something else evil. Oh, good. Supersonic. Somebody's not, ah, oh, Flappy, I'm sorry. You're not gonna be getting any action for the next fucking one turn. Let's just call Flappy. Hey, Flappy. Flappy failed to hear, I guess. Even though it makes more sense that it'd fail to hear when it is in hyper mode or something, but okay, whatever. Maybe it would've been better to attempt to hit the fucker, but I don't care. Ow. Umbreon, no! I want to just grab Umbreon by his tail and, like, swing him around like a flail. Oh shit, now who's doing the poetry? It is I who dances like the dragonfly, singing poems for all to hear. Little does everyone know, I am near. Aha, I bet somebody expected me to say queer as a joke, but no. Instead, I said near. Isn't that the funny rhyme? I got through. Oh, Confuse Ray. Yeah, it's more useful than other things you know. Okay, um. Uh. Into using attack moves. Or snatch. Steals and uses a target's move. Oh, if it raises stats. Um. It's not really all that, all that great, actually. I think I'd rather have taunt than snatch. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, Flaffy, you're nearly cured, so we can move on to Quagsire soon enough. Good news. Oh my god, these people are laid out in the most inconvenient way for me. My Pokemon are solid troopers. Check them out. <laughs> Mickey Mouse? Oh, oh, sweet. You guys are just fucking, like, getting ready for me to kill you with my Pokemon. Ah, uh, Snowrun's so cold. Actually, if Snowrun is a fucking ice Pokemon, why would it be shivering as if it were cold? Its preferred biome would be ice, would it not? 
I don't know, just throwing that out there, just out of curiosity. I guess maybe like evolutionary process could have had it where it's like, oh, it shivers so much in the cold because it's like, it's it's just, that's how it deals with the cold, with like lots of shivering. Shivering is fucking awesome, by the way. Did that th fucker just bite me? That thing does not look like a type that could use bite, but all right, whatever. Yay, super effective. Who's speaking along the lines of like, evolutionary processes just with, uh, with, <laughs> I just, I felt like I did something a bit wrong with the word processes, but we're gonna ignore that. But yeah, um, fucking speaking of evolutionary processes, I've been watching a lot of documentaries on Netflix recently, just about general animal stuff, because those are my favorite fucking documentaries to watch. I don't usually like watching documentaries, and I was just like, alright, let's have a kick of them, because at my parents' house when I was visiting for Thanksgiving, uh, there was a documentary on that we all watched and laughed about it together because that's my favorite thing That's why I like animal documentaries so much There's always something that's just like so fucking stupid that happens in them I just I have a good laugh which is probably a bad sign for my personality, but I always laugh when like there's like they're like doing this action sequence with this animal where it's like um, they're, they're putting a whole lot of focus on it and then it dies in a stupid way and I don't know I, ju I just have a fun time with it pretty fucked up but I don't know it's, it's enjoyable animal documentaries are great go watch them if you just want to have a good time unless you like animals in which case you're not gonna have a good time hey baby I like you you're cute my Pokemon can dance with elegance even in a dump like this I don't know all about your voice but you're, you're still cute Yay! I love it when I'm going against Pokemon, they're just entirely weak to my team. I feel like that's been happening a whole lot in this game. It's like I just have the perfect Pokemon to fight these assholes. I think it's because they start you at such like a higher level, you just because normally you don't have moves that are like great against other Pokemon types. But since I'm starting at level 30, I have those moves, so I don't know. Kinda why they also gave me shit moves to use, so alright. Flaffy! I could make Pokemon noises if I wanted to. Like, I could just fucking call up uh, Miyamoto and just be like, Hey, hey he, you didn't make Pokemon, but here's my fucking... Here's my portfolio of my voices that I can do for Pokemon. I just go like... And he's just like, Oh, Sugoi! And then, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I've, I've shouldered my way into the world of Pokemon. The end is always so cruelly pitiless. Oh, whoa. Dude, Toady, there's this guy downstairs, real buff, knows a lot about literature. You should go down there and just, you know, talk poetry with him. I bet he'd really appreciate that. You might get a thing out of it, too. I don't know. Hello, buff woman, man, friend. Hello. Now, what compels someone like you to come here just for the sake of getting thrashed by me? <laughs> Hello, El Elidi, 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 um, okay. Let's just stop wearing our name tags, because we aren't going to pronounce each other's names right whatsoever. I mean, fuck, he probably saw my name and thought it said Disgust, which I got that a lot as a child. That's why I turned to the dark side and joined Team Snagum. Back then, they were called Team Snatch. I was cool with that. That name was funny. And then they turned into something stupid like Snag him, because, oh, we gotta be politically correct, and Slugma is about to fuck your Cacnea up. Holy shit, I didn't think it knew a fire move already. And fuck, I was expecting Ember, not goddamn Flamethrower. Hell yeah. This is great. Flamethrower. Blah! Fucking love it. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. I love feeling overpowered in Pokemon. I mean, just starting off that way is kind of, like, maybe disappointing, but I don't care. I like it. I enjoy having OP Pokemon from the get-go. You turned the uh, tables on me. Oh, too much fucking protein powder made me burp. Grr, done in. But how? What blind spot did you exploit? Yeah, your muscles are so big, you have a hard time turning your head around, so I just kind of got behind you and I stabbed you in the back like that. Just, for future reference, less neck muscles, more capability to turn around. Like in Batman, th that was a thing that happened in Batman. Now, you might not have seen Batman, it was, it's okay. The first one's good. Well, maybe not as good as other ones. Holy fuck, I'm already at like the top of the tower. This is good, I like that, that's, that's nice. We're gonna switch back to Umbreon, because Espeon just leveled up recently, I think. Do I want to go in here, or do I want to talk to fucking douche over there. Let's see, can I open this? Wow, I, I, I guess I can. 
Cool. Well, let's see what's going on in this neck of the woods. Hello. Oh, that asshole. Ooh, and the two cute girls. Oh, man, I bet he's totally getting hentied in here. Darling, aren't you one of Duke King's people? What made you think you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy with your little show to penis. <laughs> Grr, where's Mirror B? I'm taking him down. Yeah, little pussy. <laughs> Take him down after the beating you took? That's too funny. Listen to me laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Little bitch. You wait, I'm gonna drive all of you out of this town with me and my short shorts and my long hairless legs. Mmm, aha, ooh, such a feisty boy, aha, aha. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage and make you settle down, like we did with Duking. Oh, you two are the ones that suck the spirit out of him. Oh, I see. Hmm, can I get some spirit sucking? You know what, I'm not gonna bother asking. What? Oh, yeah, I am here, by the way. Hello, spirit-sucking girls. Hello, nice to meet you. Oh, we seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. That's no excuse for being a bad host. Yes, yeah, so get me some drinks and suck my spirit out. You know what, maybe this is offensive. I'm sorry. Let me just... Oh, wait, never mind. I thought you said you were going to be a good host. You're about to beat this shit out of me, it looks like. Gosh, he's so cute, though. Can we just, like, skip the whole battling thing and, you know, just be friends? I like being friends, especially with the cute girl. <sighs> Hello, you ought to be my- oh, oh god, sorry, that voice somehow hurts my throat more than my other voices do. Ah, uh, yes, hello, it is me. Oh, which one's evil? Remoraid, fuck yeah! That's a way better water Pokemon than Quagsire. Except I guess Quagsire is also water ground, so I don't know. We will see. Um, yeah, you just bite that fucker and you just set that bug on fire. This is gonna be great. Oh, I can't wait to have more of your Pokemon. Just, yeah. Oh, wait, level 20? What the fuck? No! I didn't see how weak it was. What the fuck are you trying to give me here, you crazy woman? Okay, I will keep that in mind the next time I uh, attack one of your offensively weak Pokemon, I suppose. Alrighty then. Um, Ma'am, I think there's something wrong with your Spinarak. Somebody grabbed him in fucking Gary's mod and started spinning him around. I guess, I guess he's dead now, so it doesn't matter anyway, so alright, whatever. You know, I'm just realizing how few Shadow Pokemon the people in this building actually have. It's like just this, this girl and nobody else. And fuck, level 20, that was so weak. Like, really, what the fuck are you trying to do to me here? It's like you're trying to fuck me over. Uh, we're gonna switch you with uh, Bayleaf. Sure, just for... Nah, but Quagsire... Okay, we're just gonna switch out with Quagsire for the sake of, like, trading, I guess. I don't know. If I... I'm wondering this. If I leave my fully, like, purified Pokemon in the, the, the PC, do they, like, turn more evil? Do they turn back to being evil over time? That'd be really inconvenient, but it also makes sense because it's kind of like you're neglecting them so they would become evil. I mean, fuck, that's probably how they came up with this whole make Pokemon evil thing in the first place. It wasn't some fucking like tr like magic of technology thing whatsoever it's just some guy found out if you left your pokemon on the pc for long enough it got kind of angry about it that's all i expect to hear about this whole fucking turn of events all right whatever lady you gotta stop sending these cutesy little pokemon at me they're just they're just too easy to kill especially when they're level fucking 20 please give me that remoraid back i want to get an octillery because they make me laugh oh Oh, Love Disc is so sad, and then it dies. Oh, poor little fucker. All right, lady. Um, so, about that Remoraid, can you just give me that Pokeball and we can pretend I stole it? How did that happen? Unbelievable. You must have a very big penis. I'm sorry, I wrote that in my fanfiction. What she said instead was, I'm about to kick your ass with my bare hands, you little prick. My Pokemon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Not the real girl try. <laughs> I'm not giving her that voice. Were you hired by Duking as his bodyguards? Yeah, that voice sounds way better. Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you'd better be prepared for the consequences. And it's another battle. Why did you get the Pokeball fucking transition scene? It's like something you just get out of, like, fucking Pokemon, um... Oh, hey, Mantine, wait. Hold on, what the fuck? First off, I was gonna say some joke about, uh, PowerPoint, and then I saw that Man Mantine, Mantine, whatever the fuck its name is, has the Remoraid under its arm. Is that, um... Oh, wow, and it's the evil one. Hold on, does Remoraid evolve into Octillery and then Mantine? Mantine? I'm just gonna call it Mantine, because that's what it looks like. But, mm, and you're level 33, so maybe Bite won't kill you. I don't know, I'm actually curious about this, though. 
Because from the from what I can understand, it makes more sense for Remoray to turn into Mantine than it does. But I know for a fact it turns into Octillery. Maybe Mantine is just like its own, like it doesn't have evolutions or anything, so maybe it's just its own thing. And it's like, oh, Remoraids love to hang out with Mantines. I mean, makes sense. Isn't that the case with normal man manatee? What do they call it again? Oh, you dumb motherfucker. You just healed my fucking amphibian beast. I love that. Not that as much, because... Oh, shit, that was not much damage. Okay. We're gonna... F oh, you have four Pokemon, too. This is gonna take some time. Oh, no. Defense Curl. Let's see where that gets you when you start hitting yourself like a fucking pool. Bubble Beam. Not Bubble Beam. <laughs> All right, seriously, stop hitting that one in particular. You're really fucking it up. Fucking Quagsire. Dude. If you do the thing again, you did the thing again. What wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, you stupid bug. Piece of shit. Can't even fuck you. I mean, you could, but it'd probably be really pointy and hurt. It'd be gross, too. Crunchy. Oh, now you remember. You're paralyzed. Okay, let's bite and let's. I don't know, helping hand, whatever. Fuck it. I don't. I just don't want to kill you. What is helping? Oh, I'm ready to help. What does that mean? Am I gonna jump in the way to like take a bullet for Umbreon? It'd be kind of cool. Okay, I can try catching this fucker now. I guess. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, paralysis. Is so good. Let's do, do, do. Let's catch this motherfucker and see how it goes. I have so many great balls. Let's try that. I choose to catch you rather than my own Pokemon. And we'll do some reflecting just for shits and giggles and see if that helps. Let's go! Come on, Mantine, you're gonna get in there. I, I keep wanting to say Mat Man Mantine. I don't know, that might be right. Might not be. Manatini. Let's call it Manatini. Wait, why can't I nickname my Pokemon? I just realized that. Oh, we caught it. Yay! Sweet! We caught the Pokemon. This episode ended up being longer than I thought it would, but I guess it was worth it. And let's see. Oh, what just happened? Unbelievable 2! I'm just like, are you saying that, like, it's unbelievable as well? No! Unbelievable number 2! What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> Wreath, let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Oh, wait, who's who's who? Okay, Firma, Purple, Wreath, Red. Righto, Firma! Or, isn't that the name? No, I'm thinking of Fema. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna call you Fema from now on. Ultra Super Fire Dash! There is nothing Ultra Super or Fire Dash about that. Well, shit. I guess on this note, I, I, we've saved the little boy who was getting, uh, like, taken care of by two beautiful women. And yeah, I guess that's a good enough note to end this episode on. So this has been a Gator Stamper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.